I just wanted to do a kind of catch up, see how you guys are doing, and share what I've been doing. And yeah, that's what this is going to be about. All right, I'll see you on the catching up. Uh, bye. I wanted to share one of the craziest concoctions that my husband got me for Christmas. This is called Oculus. <laughs> he says that he got it for me because he was hoping that I would have some peace <laughs> in shutting everybody else out. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. And what it does is you can see 360. It looks like you're suspended in air and it's crazier than all crap. I think it shuts out the world too much and uh, yeah. You can also play video games on this weird old thing. So I don't know why my husband got me this, but yeah, I guess well intended. It's really neat by the way. Uh, you can see videos on it, YouTube, Netflix. I was watching this with 360 videos on YouTube and it's cooler than cool. And then they have a zombie game in here where you it looks like zombies are coming behind you because it's a 360 thing and that didn't help me relax yeah no <laughs> yeah if you need to zone out the world and not talk to nobody and you just want to focus on your online presence this is the way to do it yeah shut the world out i also wanted to share with you the banner that I've been working on, I kind of almost got one whole side done. I had to remove it from the long arm because I'm going to have to turn it around. I'm afraid that if I work on the opposite end and start working on it backwards, yeah, that maybe it'd be too complicated for me. So I'm going to re uh, sew the leaders on it. So let me show you what it looks like so far. I don't know if you can see it. On Lorena's quilting Facebook group you can see it a lot better I don't know what do you think of this quilting down here I didn't know how to transition so I thought this would work I'm gonna probably do that on the other side and in the center when I get to here maybe cross hatch it and do some of either this on there or have this look in the center. Oh, look at the lighting. Yeah. I also wanted to announce the winner of this scarf. Some of you are so sweet and you told me that I should keep it. I just don't see me I just don't see myself wearing it and let me just share why. Last year I made this scarf and it's my favorite scarf and um I put so much work into it that I refuse not to wear it. So this is my winter scarf. So I appreciate you, some of you that told me to keep my scarf <laughs> that I'm gonna give away. I just feel like I won't use it and it'll just be stuck in a drawer forever. And then maybe one of you would love it and use it and wear it and have it. So this is my, I love this scarf by the way. <laughs> You know how I was talking about that cork fabric that I ended up buying on Amazon? Well, I went to a different fabric store and they had this whole roll of, look at that, that cork fabric that I thought this was. And I got this, if you're located here in San Antonio, I get got this at Creative Sewing. Um, it was cheaper than other quilt stores. Sorry. Just saying. I also wanted to share um, a light box that I found on Amazon for... It's a little pricey, I think, but you can hand them in different sizes. But I got this for $50. It is the neatest light box. Look how thin it is. So it plugs in right here. It's LED tracing light table. It's really thin. I just like it a lot. All right, I wanted to share my organizational system if it's working for me at this current time. You know, this little book that I had all my plans. Well, I really do like it. It is helping me a lot. It gives me kind of something to research and look up and see what I want to do, what project I want to do. Um, I really do hope you like all the long arming that I'm in adding into this channel. 
I know last year it was kind of not very long army, but this year it's going to be. So yeah, this is helping me a lot. It's given me a way to organize. I have here all of January, which is exciting. These are some of the things I plan to do. And you can see the stars of the ones or the dates are the ones I did do. You could see some that I didn't have a chance to do. <clears throat> but hey, I did more of what I wanted to do, a little bit more. So you see the ones that are dated. And here are some of that I transferred to February. I'm kind of cleaning it up a little bit more so I have a cleaner way of thinking and those are kind of like ideas or plans they're not set in stone but it kind of gives me a little bit of a kind of a clearer mind of what I could do next and I want to be the kind of person now I was thinking that I do a lot I start a lot of projects but don't finish a lot of them well, I do finish a lot of them but my channel, yeah, you haven't seen a lot of my projects completely done. Example, last year's January quilt top. I finished the quilt top, but I haven't done the quilting. I also did a quilt top, that pink quilt top that I made that I started designing, but I haven't gotten to long arm it or even finish the border. So this year I really want to work on finishing projects so that you can see the end result, not the mid process of it so I really do want to finish that banner before I get into a new project so that you guys can see it finished I don't know I think that's important now in regards to that you are going to be seeing um, that project a little bit more often than not because I'm going to try to finish it so that you can finish the so you could see the finished result. Maybe this is a little random. I'm trying to figure out what to quilt inside that banner that I'm working on. So I went to a restaurant yesterday and I saw this. This is some, This we went to a restaurant and this is what they play, it's like a placemat for eating. <laughs> and I loved this leaf and filigree and I wanted to see if the lettering could be centered here with this beautiful filigree around it. I honestly don't know if y'all have some suggestions on what kind of quilting I could do inside that banner. Please share if you find a pin on Pinterest or if you have an idea. I was thinking of doing the leaf around the top and this at the edge and cross hatching in the center. So I wanted to use a random object to turn into a quilting design. I don't know if I'm that good, but I thought that would be a good idea. Look how beautiful this is. You have to find a way to entertain yourself. You can tell I have a boring life. 